Hey guys, the Fire Brothers here. We have huge news. Marketing for Transformers 1 has just started. And like you see in the beginning, we have the official title drop animation for the movie. It looks spectacular. Again, it's just a title drop. I know, in comparison to us be waiting for literally anything, this is great. I'm honestly really hyped for it. But the point I'm recording this, CinemaCon has just started and we're currently waiting on news. We're gonna get news about Transformers 1 and Transformers 9. Well, Transformers 8, uh, the number is still confusing, you know, but whatever. The Rise of the Beast sequel. We're gonna get something for it today and we're gonna get something for Transformers 1 today. We're gonna get info from people who saw the trailer. They're gonna, like, drop their descriptions on it. So, while we wait, I'm just gonna be like summarizing things as they go on. So we had the Transformers 1 logo, again, really cool. Finally, we're getting something. Thank you, the marketing is about to start. Trailer next week, um, next Thursday. So keep that in mind, that this is happening. We might also get toys releases that day as I've been covering in my last few batch of videos lately. So yeah, things are looking up, marketing has begun. All we can do now is be patient. A few inches later. Well guys, more news seem to have just dropped from CinemaCon. It looks like it's 100% official. It's indeed happening for better or for worse. We are getting a Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover movie. It's officially happening. I know, I I'm not a fan of this in all honesty. But also getting a Transformers movie is honestly good in general. That's good. Like, I don't mind that. But <sighs> I, I you still really don't like that G.I. Joe is, you know coming into this to leech off the success of Transformers. This isn't like a crossover because both franchises are popular, it's a crossover to prop up G.I. Joe. And Hasbro has desperately, desperately, for a long, long time, trying to get G.I. Joe to succeed, but it just doesn't. So now they're trying to leech off Transformers, a more successful franchise. So this got officially announced, just fresh out of CinemaCon. And yeah, it looks like Lorenzo, the evil bad guy that he is, ended up winning, and <laughs> we are getting this. At the point of recording this right now, we're kind of just waiting on, like, the people who actually saw the trailer to, like, drop their thoughts and, like, you know, descriptions of what they saw in the trailer. We're gonna see the trailer next week, so, you know, this will be, like, our closest thing to a preview we can get till then so yeah let's just wait for it right now a few moments later all right guys so now we pretty much just have the whole description of what people got to see the small preview and all of it we're gonna get the full trailer next week but we have a couple of confirmations a couple of you know really cool things that happen at cinema con so i'm gonna like just tell you everything that happened so first off, a little confirmation, Steve Buscemi is gonna be in Transformers 1. So that means that Tom Kenny, the guy who did Transformers animated Starscream, won't be in the movie, which kinda sucks, but you know what it makes sense. Now, it doesn't make sense because I think it's a good thing, I wish it was animated Starscream's voice actor, but Transformers 1 seems to be doing this thing known as celebrity casting, in which they choose celebrities to cast these characters because they're celebrities. It's not because they can actually voice that. And look, I'm not saying that people here can bo cannot do voice acting. Apparently, everyone seems to be praising the voice acting. They say that, yeah, it's really good. But I mean, it's one thing to hire someone because they're famous. And it's, someone, and it's another thing hiring someone because they can do the job, you know? So that's one thing that pisses me off. But you know what? As long as Steve here can do the job, I don't really mind. So I'm just going to read out some of the reviews of, your, of what people have been saying about the trailer. Or what they got to see, at least. So the movie podcast at CinemaCon says that Transformers one trailer consists of a young Optimus Prime and a young Megatron working together on Cybertron. Really cool action sequences, Cybertron looks amazing, the animation looks incredible, a strong comedic tone as well. From what I've been seeing, there's a lot of people saying that this movie feels very comedic in nature, and I know that's gonna throw some people off, but I honestly don't mind that much. I feel like Transformers also works really well when it's also a bit lighthearted. Like, I feel like Razor the Beast needed more lighthearted moments, like Optimus Prime putting the wheel jack nerve glasses on. Like, something goofy like that is comedic and it's nice, you know? It helps break out the tension of the story. So, in that regard, I don't mind. Other people have been saying that it looks like Transformers 1 might be the most beautiful animated 3D movie of the whole year. A lot of people have been praising the animation. Now, I seen a bit of the animation, like I said, we got that least screenshot a while back, and while it was small, you could, I could tell that it really looked really good. And um, it looks like everyone un unanimously is praising the animation. They said that the animation looks spectacular, and that is one of the most gorgeous 3D animated movies of the year. So people are saying that the movie might get an Oscar for it. I think it's still a little too early to say, but at least it's nice to know that the animation is gonna be good. And you know, that's what happens when you get ILM working on a Transformers movie. Those guys do know their stuff. As for the scene that people got to see, apparently the scene involves Alita 1, where she gets in a fight and a chase with young Optimus Prime and other Transformers. Now, it, they don't really make it clear if Optimus is fighting Alita here, or if it's like, you know, um, it's Optimus and Alita working together. 
I don't really mind if they change stuff for the movie or the lore, as long as it's done in an interesting way. Just look at the Scalabon comics, another comic that takes risk and changes things, but in my honest opinion, it results in some really cool, amazing storytelling that we haven't seen before. And by the way, I am making a review for issue number 7 of the Scalabon comics that will be out either tomorrow, Friday, or on Saturday. We'll see, okay? Don't rush me, I already have a lot of Transformers stuff to cover. Eventually, the crew ends up on top of a train where they see the surface for the first time. Now, the surface of Saturn is gonna look very different from our typical continuities. It's gonna look very desolate, but the inside of the planet looks very, you know, pristine and modern and futuristic. So, there's gonna be an interesting dynamic between, like, how the, you know, Transformers see the world, you know, inside the planet and how they see it outside the planet. And also, shortly thereafter, a gigantic rock emerges from the ground, destroying the ground's train-like vehicle. As to what that's all about, we'll have to wait until the trailer comes out to like really know for sure, but honestly, all these descriptions are really getting me hyped. Another description says that, Transformers 1 First Look, the CGI, begins with young Optimus and Megatron introduced as Bumblebee Elite 1, none of them can transform initially as their lowly working bots, eventually leads them to gaining powers to transform, fun, awesome, action, a lot of depth. So this goes back to the whole Teacock plot that we've been hearing a while back about, you know, how the Teacocks are going to be discovered, it's going to allow the Transformers the ability to transform, and that's going to kind of kickstart the events of the movie. Now, the Teacocks is not going to be like the next MacGuffin, like, you know, the Transformers relics that we see across the movies. It's going to happen pretty early on in the movie, by the way. So I am very curious to see how that whole thing plays out, because I know that's one of the points that a lot of people have been very contentious about. Not a lot of people know how exactly how to feel about that. Honestly, I'm gonna give it a chance, if it's good, it's good, if it's bad, it's bad, we'll see. And also, apparently they're changing the origin of Orion Pax and D16, while D16 is still a minor, Optimus Prime aka Orion Pax will also be a minor as well, which is an interesting take, because they're both will be coming from the same background, because usually is Optimus Prime comes from like kinda like the higher echelon of Transformers, you know, civilization, while Megatron comes from the very bottom, and you know, their distinct ideas gonna lead them to different paths, but it looks like this time around they're both gonna be coming from the same background, which I don't mind, I could see it working, I kinda like the more humble origin of Optimus Prime just being like this records clerk, but like, okay, you know what, I'll give it a chance, let's see how they handle it. But besides the, doing the cinema con event, uh, Scarlett Johansson went on set, a virtual set, and spoke about how proud she was of her work as Lita One, Chris Hemsworth did the same thing, saying that he's on to sharing the Optimus Prime legacy with Peter Cullen, who, by the way, Peter Cullen will also be voicing Optimus Prime in this movie. When Orion Pax turns to Optimus Prime, we're gonna hear Peter Cullen's voice, but for the beginning of the movie, it's just gonna be Chris Hesworth voicing a young Optimus Prime, aka Orion Pax. I don't mind this, I think it would be really cool. I, it looks like everyone doesn't seem to have a complaint with the voices so far. If anything, the thing that gets praised the most right now is the animation and the CGI. And that's what I am the most hyped to learning about how it looks like in next week. Now, I know I've seen a bit a small screenshot of how the movie's gonna look like, but it was a small screenshot and it was a bit blurry-ish. But, you know, I wanna see it full render, 4K quality, best of the best definition, to just get an idea of how good the animation's gonna be. But yeah, I'm actually really hyped for it, I'm so excited. Not so much the whole G.I. Joe thing, that's an, honestly a tragedy in my opinion. But if you're a G.I. Joe fan, if you're, you know, happy about that, look, don't let me stop you, you know? Like, I'm happy for you, but I'm personally not happy about that. Besides that, I think that's about it for the cinema con event. I kind of wish I had more to show you guys besides the towel animation, but you know what? I don't mind. It has been officially confirmed that we're gonna get the trailer in about 7 days, so next Thursday. Really looking forward to that. We're gonna have you speculating the whole week and stuff like that. Like, it's gonna be, you know, just... Oh, it's, it's honestly, it's so refreshing. After a whole year of just wondering where the trailer is coming, where the trailer is coming, is the trailer coming, is the movie even real? We're finally getting something. And we know the date. That's all I wanted. I'm happy. I can rest easy now. I can be patient until next week. Let's just wait around and speculate. I'm gonna probably be streaming tomorrow. We're gonna have a phone stream speculating. So if you guys wanna be part of that, come and join me tomorrow. But for now, all we can really do is wait. But yeah guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for Transformers 1 coming next week? What are your thoughts on the descriptions we've been hearing? Are you excited for it? Are you upset that they changed some of the origins and some of the characters in some ways? Personally, we just heard the descriptions right now, so that's not, you know, something we could like, you know, judge the whole movie for. We're gonna have to wait a little bit longer until the trailer gets released to, you know, cast final judgment. But for now, I like what I'm hearing. I know it's 
not everyone's probably gonna feel that way but honestly i really do like what we're hearing just a few more days of waiting and the toys will probably be and we'll see the trailer and the toys will probably be released alongside the trailer we are not entirely sure about that just yet but it's looking more and more like that will be the case but yeah guys that's it for this video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe do the annoying youtuber stuff that the algorithm likes so much and i will see you guys in the next video Stay safe, guys. Anyways, guys, before we go, shout out to our super incredible Patreons and channel members. Scout, James Newbold, Crawley666, TF Cypher, Legend of Soup, King Sparta, Crazy T-Rex, Orino64 Studios, Winso Winso, Inferno65, Super Sailor's former Hedgehogs, Moriarty, Xavier the God, Stitch Productions, Drakey Horror 45, Grub Lordo, and Predaking Hunter Plays. And also our channel members, Grub Lordo, Optimation Reviews, TF Cypher, Laser Sin, The Crazy T-Rex, and Lord Skywarp, and Surprise Cheetor. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated. If you become a channel member or a patron, you get access to exclusive videos I haven't released yet. You get to collab with me in some of my videos if you so choose to, and access to channel exclusive emojis, and a bunch of other stuff. You also get a shout out to your channel in the description down below, so be sure to check out those guys, because a lot of them are up and coming YouTubers who need all the help they can get. But keep in mind this is entirely optional, because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated. Appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.